Hey everyone, the talk of leadership challenge against Theresa May seems to quiet it off a bit, at least for this week, as the government made another move with a big piece of Brexit legislation. In response, a senior civil servant tried to make your average lager-drinking, white van-driving bloke on the street on side by making a Brexit analogy involving a cricket ball, and went on to say that Brexit was falling apart like a, quote, chocolate orange, which seemed a bit odd, seeing as if you're already doing the cricket thing, at least follow through and say things will fall apart like an England test match innings, or use the chocolate metaphor from the start as another meaningless nonsense term to describe the supposed softness of the perceived Brexit. Elsewhere, across the Atlantic, there's been more Russian allegations, this time involving Donald Trump's eldest son meeting with a lawyer from Moscow. The lawyer, by the way, was actually barred from entering the US until Attorney General and friend of Hillary Clinton, Loretta Lynch, personally stepped in to allow him to enter the US in a sign that the top echelon of politics there is on a dodginess rating. It places it somewhere between a used car salesman on a stag do and a newspaper editor who's discovered it both as mistress and mortgage payments are late. And finally, in North Korea, they've been very keen to show off their latest ICBM. It's very difficult to get a visa entry into the country, but they've advised journalists that they should visit the west coast of America if they want to get a close-up view. Now, not that I'm questioning the technical skills of the Koreans, but I'm guessing it's so that the journalists can then go to Los Angeles, board a cruise ship, and travel to the Sea of Japan, where the rocket is scheduled to land several seconds after it takes off. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe. Bye.